Shalom. First, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yel Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well towards his truth. Blessings to the elect and the remnant of Israelites who are scattered worldwide who are predestined to be saved. It's Brother Yakar coming for another lesson. And as promised, um, Sal's so going to do a lesson, really edification on, um, like this thumbnail says it, what does the Bible say about the power of words? Alright, and the Bible has a lot to say about the power of words. And we're going to go to uh, our Lord and Saviour. Alright, we're going to kick it off with this scripture, John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Alright, so if the words that the Lord speaks unto us our spirit and our life <clears throat> we have to know the meaning of those words you know it's just like when you're you know to get the full essence of uh, the scriptures and what uh, the how about Shimei is saying you know all right it's very important you know because in and in anything reading a newspaper or anything like that you know looking up the meaning of words especially you know, like when Jake is in trouble and he's with the lawyer and the lawyer is saying these big words, he says, what is it? You know, he's using technical terms, you know, he wants to understand what does that mean? What, what, what does this mean? And that's the same in this truth. We, we have to do exactly the same thing. Now, uh, let's go to uh, the Blue Letter Bible. All right, and let's get this scripture. And this is what you have to do. You have to you have to um, use the Bible blue letter. And this was a tool that the, you know, that I think the enemy made, but the Lord put the spirit on the enemy to make it for us. <laughs> All praise to Yahweh Shimiel Shai. Now, in this scripture, you might un not understand the word quick enough. All right. So what you can do is click on it. And remember, the new the Old Testament was written in Hebrew first. And um, the New Testament was written in Greek. You know, and there's a reason for that. And the history for that goes back to Alexander, the so-called great, you know, because he conquered most of the world and when you conquer people you make them speak their language that's why we're speaking english all right and go down to quick enough all right click on it it's going to tell you the greek Strong word g 2227 yep so what point a so so quick enough what does it mean it means to pro to produce alive all right begat or bear living young to cause to live make alive give life all right give life all right by spiritual power to arouse and invigorate to restore to restore to life so the word quick enough means to restore to life man all right and that's what happens when you come in this truth and you start you know uh, you know uh, looking at the lessons and stuff like that you become of quick understanding you know when the holy spirit is dealing with you the lord is dealing with you he you know how shall i supping with you he makes you you know you know just to understand things there might be a few things that you might not understand you might ask questions we all did that but it makes you of quick understanding it makes you alive it invigorates you so that's what the word quick enough means all right now i saw this clip and this is a, a clip from the film malcolm x and uh, and it's very it's very poignant because it's it's talking about uh it shows you um the power of words all right i'm gonna tell you god is black god is black everybody knows god is white everything the white man taught you you accepted he taught you you were a black heathen and you believed it that's right he once a blonde blue-eyed jesus with white skin and you believed it. He taught you that black was a curse, and you believed that. 
Did you ever look up the word black in a dictionary? Or what? Did you ever study anything that wasn't part of some con? What the hell for, man? <laughs> Come with me. Black, destitute of light, devoid of color. Yeah, you see? That, that's beautiful see he's looking up the meaning of the word black you know so really are people that call themselves black people you know i mean for a, a form or whatever like us in the truth you know you're applying for a job and and it you know it says black or afro-caribbean or in america african-american we'll tick those boxes but really we know that we're israelites man and you know do you get what I mean? But our people that are proud to be black and are okay and, and, and basically those people are, are spiritually dead. You know? The spirit has not hit them. You know? The spirit has not qu quickened them. Alright? It's not made them alive. They're dead. Alright? So they're still going by what their master called them. Pretty good with them words, ain't it? Sword with dirt. Foul. Sullen. <laughs> forbidding as a black day foully or outrageously wicked as black cruelty indicating disgrace dishonor or culpability and there's others black male black ball black guard yeah, somewhere. let's look up white There you go, man. The power of words is very important in everyday life. But in this truth, it's mega important, man. Mega important. All right? Mega important. So using things like um, dictionary online, for example, the, you know, I, I, I mean, I like Middle Age history because when, when, like, you know, when you find out that the Middle Ages was ruled by us, we had something called heresy. The Roman Catholic Church had something called heresy. All right. Um, and the word heretic is in the Bible as well, man. Uh, uh, no, heres the word heresy is in the Bible. All right. So you can go on a dictionary, look it up. And what does heresy mean? Adherence to a religious opinion contrary to church dogma. All right. Contrary to church dogma. Now you might not know what dogma means, so you can look that up. All right, and dogma it means what? Something held as an established opinion. So the Roman Catholic Church, which was our people in the Middle Ages, had a set doctrine, and if you went against that doctrine, you'll be tried for heresy and you'll be burnt at the stake. That's how wicked we was back then, man. Huh? Okay. But the main thing is to look up the meaning of words. So all these tools, like the dictionary, all right? You saw in that clip, he, he, you know, he looked up in the dictionary, the word black and, and so forth. And that's what the enemy's done. The enemy's just turned everything upside down. We are the uh, 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 virtuous and pure, pure people, uh, you know, when we're in our right mind. When the spirit has quickened of us, man, made us alive. All right? But only the elect is going to attain, all right, salvation. And they're going to live this out now, all right, and in the kingdom, man. And basically in the kingdom, we're all going to be righteous, man. Because all Israel is going to be saved eventually. You know, the, the, the ones that don't make it, they're going to come back in a reincarnation, all right. 
but you can see the importance of looking at your words and if you look up like John 3 16 which is there which is our people's you know our people that are Christians and the reason why they love this scripture because they want to save their master all right but let's just for edification let's just go into it John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life now let's look at the word world all right now the word world there in the greek strong's g 2889 cosmos 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 all right which means and an apt and a har uh, harmonious arrangement or constitution, order and order and government. All right. So it doesn't actually mean the whole entire world, because when you go to other scriptures, for example, Revelations. Uh, this is Revelations three and ten. All right. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Because remember, this is in English, right? I shall also keep thee from the hour of temptation. And that's when the MLTB is going to be instituted worldwide. Which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Now, let's go into the word world in this one. In this scripture. Uh, and let's see if it says cosmos. It doesn't. It says this. Strong's G, 3625, Oikumene. 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 Which means, what? The inhabited earth. That means the whole planet earth. And we know that the MOTB is going to be um, instituted worldwide. That's why it's called a new world order. So that's going to be the hour of temptation. All right. But why does uh, 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 John 316 say cosmos? Because... The, the world that is going to be saved is Israel, man. All right? Because you have um, the sports world. You have the animal world. You have uh, uh, the music world. So which world are you talking about? All right? Which sports world? All right? And if you go and... and, and, and uh, there's many precepts because if you look at if you go to John see see this is why these uh, crackers these crackers like uh, Christopher Hitchens who's dead now died of cancer the Lord took him out he used to say the Bible contradicts it you know contradicts itself but the but the Lord said none of the wicked shall understand see in John seventeen nine Yahweh I said I pray for them I pray not for the world. See that? See, you would think that contra uh, contradicts John three sixteen. You know. He said, "I pray for them. I pray not for the world." All right, but for them which thou has given me, for they are thine. And he's talking about his elect. All right, not talking about uh, uh, everyone on 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 the planet Earth. You see, so that's why you have to look up the the um, uh, uh, the words and um, when, when you look up words all right in the Bible it comes to life for example there will be many words that you might not understand for example and I showed it job 2 job 2 and 1 uh, and uh, as I said before this is one of the first books I, I read when I kept first came to the truth all right all right job two and three and the lord said unto satan has thou considered my servant job that all right so the lord was in 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 the spiritual realm having a, 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 a you know a meeting you know with the uh with, with, with um you know the different spirits up there and satan came and he said where where have you come from up and to and fro the earth causing chaos mayhem and he said have you considered my servant job that there is none like him 
in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil. Now, now, the word escheweth, I never used to know what it was. So I looked it up. All right. Okay. Uh, it's good. Let's see. What does it mean? And this is in Hebrew. Strong's H fifty four ninety three. Yep. Sur. 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 All right. So skuf means sur in Hebrew. It means to turn aside, to depart, to turn aside, to depart, depart away, avoid, to be removed. <laughs> so a skuf means to depart from evil to stay away from evil and that's what job was all right so that that script so once you know that that word what it means that comes it, it, it that that scripture comes to life you know you know a perfect and upright man one that feareth god and escheweth evil a one that departs and stays away from evil see so that's that's the point I'm trying to make. To look up the meaning of words is very important in this truth, man. You know. And once you have that, you have better uh, spiritual discernment when it comes to the scriptures and and in life as well, man. All right. And discernment means to judge well. All right. You can look that up for yourself. So I don't want to make it too long. All right. But. What does the Bible say about the power of words? And, you know, the words that are in this Bible, they are, they, they are what? They are, um, let's go back to that uh, scripture. All right. All right. John 6 and 63. Let's end it with this again. It is the spirit that quickeneth, and that's the Holy Spirit, man. The truth of this Bible the Lord has opened your mind to receive this truth. All right. He could have chose anyone else, but he opened your mind. All right. To receive this truth. So don't waste it. The flesh profit of nothing. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And you can always as well. Okay. To get more understanding, more edification, because more edification means to build up. All right, you can go into the other, um, what's it called? The other Bibles, as well. So you click on here, Bibles, right, and you can go into the New Living Translation on the Scripture. If you just want to get more meat off that bone, you know, like when you have lamb chops and yet, and it's tasty, you know. And it's almost finished, but you want to get the meat off the bone. You can do this, man. You can go into the different other Bibles. But the main one you should stick to is the King James Version. But you can get extra edification by going into the NLT and so forth. See, John 6 and 63 in the NLT. The Spirit alone gives eternal life. Alright. Human effort accomplishes nothing and the very words i have spoken to you are spirit and are and life okay so you can get more more meat off, off that bone when you're um you know looking at these scriptures and stuff so listen i didn't want to make it too long and i hope this was edifying you know the tricks that they've done to us you know like that like you know, as you see in the, in 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 that that clip with Malcolm X, they're showing you. And yes, the Heavenly Father is black. Deal with it, man. All right. To the next one. Blessings to the elect. Shalom.